When watching a movie, many viewers will gravitate toward the main characters, which makes sense, they're on screen often throughout the film. Since we spend more time with the stars of the show, we're more likely to become fans of them. But not every famous face in Hollywood has to hog all the screen time. Some can efficiently and effectively work their way into our hearts, making a memorable impression in little time at all. With their appearances so ingrained in pop culture, you may be surprised that some of the most iconic characters in cinema barely had a role to play in their film. Here are 10 famous movie characters with almost no screen time. Jurassic Park. The big selling point for Jurassic Park was the chance to see dinosaurs come back to life. But Steven Spielberg definitely adapted a less is more approach. This may have been due to the technological limits at the time, but only 15 minutes of the film include dinosaur footage. The animatronics make up nine of those, while the CGI creations account for the other six. Jurassic Park is a movie noted for its contributions to the realm of visual effects, but it didn't lean too heavily on them. Much of the remaining screen time was used to flesh out the characters, which made Jurassic Park the timeless classic it is. The Silence of the Lambs. When viewers think of Oscar-winning performances, their mind may go to actors who chewed up scene after scene, dominating the screen with their presence. This is especially true in the Best Lead Actor category. But sometimes, category fraud does happen. Anthony Hopkins in The Silence of the Lambs is one notable example. His Hannibal Lecter is on screen for only 16 minutes, yet the Academy deemed it a leading role, and Hopkins walked away with an Oscar. Still, there's no denying the actor made the most of his limited time, and crafted a truly chilling villain. We'll never forget. Sometimes, quality beats quantity. Beetlejuice. When a character's name is used as the title of the film, it's safe to assume that the movie will focus on that character. Tim Burton had other ideas when he made Beetlejuice. The real main characters are the married couple, played by Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis. Michael Keaton's brilliant comedic performance is only there for 17 minutes. In fact, Beetlejuice himself doesn't appear until more than an hour into the movie. Still, he's one of the most recognizable and iconic characters Burton has ever put to film. And it's amazing he became such a monumental part of pop culture in such little time. It's borderline false advertising, but it works very well. Leon the Professional. Some actors know going into a performance that they'll have to make the most of limited screen time, and it's safe to say Gary Oldman fits that bill. The supremely talented thespian delivered one of his most famous turns in The Professional as the corrupt DEA agent Stansfield. The character was unhinged and completely unpredictable, making him a thrill to watch. He may not be in the movie for long, but Oldman's presence truly elevated the part and made it compelling and memorable. Ask any of his fans to name their favorite Oldman performance, and this one may win out. It's just that good. Seven. In contrast to his other classic performance from 1995, Kevin Spacey barely has any screen time in David Fincher's Seven. Playing the serial killer John Doe, the actor shows up near the end and dominates the third act with haunting musings on the state of humanity and one final unnerving murder to push the heroes over the edge. Spacey is truly captivating to watch in the role, and when the credits roll, he's the one most viewers are thinking of. Though he's the main antagonist, Fincher held off on using John Doe for as long as he could, and the film was arguably all the better for it. Seven could have lost some of its punch if Spacey popped up periodically. Glengarry Glen Ross. Any list of great movie speeches will include Alec Baldwin's iconic Coffee is for Closers bit from Glengarry Glen Ross. It's arguably transcended the film and has taken a life of its own. It's funny that in a movie noted for great performances from a legendary cast, Baldwin's glorified cameo went down as the most noteworthy. The actor is only in the single scene, which runs for about seven and a half minutes. There's no denying that Baldwin took over the film for that time and knocked his role right out of the park. He's always closing and can drink the whole pot of coffee if he wants. After killing that speech, he's earned it. Shakespeare in Love. Dame Judi Dench has had a career full of great performances, but only one earned her an Oscar. In Shakespeare in Love, she played Queen Elizabeth and nearly broke an Academy record. Her defining turn as the English monarch accounted for just eight minutes of the two-hour runtime, or just six percent. That's only three minutes longer than the shortest Oscar-winning performance, which was accomplished by Beatrice Strait in Network. What's even more impressive is that Dench's Elizabeth has inspired nearly every on-screen iteration of the Queen since, despite not being very long. Sometimes, that's all it takes to win every one over. Les Miserables. This musical sported an all-star cast and had plenty of great songs, but the one true standout moment was Anne Hathaway's rendition of I Dreamed a Dream. The actress ran away with Best Supporting Actress for her performance, blowing audiences away with her fierce commitment to the role. She had every reason to make the most of her performance, since her character Fontaine is only on screen for 15 minutes, which is only 10% of the final product. Between Hathaway's real-life weight loss and emotionally wrenching vocals, there was plenty to like about the performance, and it went down in history. 
The Empire Strikes Back. Boba Fett is an extremely marketable Star Wars character and a fan favorite. Walk around any convention floor and you'll see a few people dressed as the bounty hunter. The uninitiated may be surprised by his popularity since Boba Fett hardly does anything in his brief appearances. He's in two films in the classic trilogy, yet only has four lines of dialogue, is barely on screen, and dies in truly humiliating fashion. Despite all that, the design of the character made him stand out. It's true that he does look cool. Hopefully Boba gets his own spin-off movie and shows off the badassery fans have always wanted to see. Star Wars. Darth Vader is one of the most recognizable villains in the history of film and has become a marketing giant for Lucasfilm. His part in this December's Rogue One has been teased throughout promotion, exciting many fans. He's such an integral part of the zeitgeist, it's easy to forget he was just the Empire's muscle in the beginning. For the original film, George Lucas gave the antagonist just 12 minutes of screen time, which is roughly 10% of the entire movie. It's amazing to consider that Vader became so popular that he would eventually become the primary focus of the franchise, as the first six episodes chronicle Anakin Skywalker's rise and fall. Those are our picks for some famous movie characters with almost no screen time. Are there any we missed? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun videos.